a sweet new gig for Abby, working for a very high-powered attorney. Maybe you've heard of Angela Dwyer. The lawyer who got Brandon released after he almost raped Abby? Defend someone doesn't mean they necessarily endorse that person's crime. <laughs> this is the U.S. of A, kid. Even dirtbags like Brandon are guaranteed the right to legal Get counsel. Out. Okay, listen, no. you've given me several things to consider, but right now I'd like you to leave. No problem. Excuse me, young man. Don't let him talk you out of this. It's a big opportunity for you. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, by the way, it really brightened my day to be able to get all those nasty charges against you dropped. It was like a life-affirming thing to support young love. Well, looky here. Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Although I gotta admit, I liked it better when you were in your skivvies. Mm. Hello, Anthony. Uh, I can't say that I'm too surprised. I figured once you escaped lockup, you'd come running to John for help. But where is my boy, anyway? You didn't decide to bump him off, did you? <laughs> no, he'll be right back. Well, that's reassuring. John may not be the sharpest knife in the drawer when it comes to running things, but he's the only heir I've got. Mm. I think Johnny's doing pretty fine. And you've already got him jumping through hoops again for you. Good work. I understand you were just about to uh, get rid of that arch rival of yours and frame her husband for the murder. Well, that's not a bad plan, except for the part where you got caught. I'm always reminding Johnny You've got to be meticulous with your execution. It's all about the details. Oh, well, I guess I should have come to you for help. It's a shame that you didn't. Would have been my pleasure to assist such a beautiful woman. So, what happens now? You on the next boat to China? John's out getting the crate ready? Well, it's definitely time to start over. <clears throat> Preferably on the other side of the world. Hmm. What are you going to do there? What, are you going to perform cheap medical services in some back alley? Life as a fugitive is a real drag, Lisa, believe me. And it's such a sad waste of so much potential. Yeah, well, it's a lot better than staring at walls of a mental facility. <laughs> I suppose you're right. It's the smart move, the safe move. To each their own, I guess. Are you just talking to hear yourself? I'm just making conversation. I'll tell you one thing. There's no way in hell you'd ever catch me slinking into oblivion and letting my enemies live happily ever after. I'll tell you that it'd be more psychologically healthy to forget Patrick and run away with your tail between your legs. Don't hold your breath. Well, it would be the same choice, but you don't do the same, do you? Sweetheart, you and I are similar. I don't think it's in your DNA to just disappear and not let it bother you. Let what bother me? Oh, I don't know. The fact that they'll be laughing at you, celebrating. And Patrick's the one who really comes out of this thing smelling like a rose. He got to enjoy a little bounce on the bed with you. Then he just told everyone you're a whack job, and he went running back to his little lifey with his wifey. I got to admit, I'm impressed. That's pretty smooth. No, no, no. Patrick was just lucky. He's not as smooth as you're giving him credit for, because I know how to move around him. I can make him be begging for mercy if I wanted to. See? I knew there was still some fight left in you. And if you're really serious about getting some revenge, I might even be convinced to help you out. Or maybe you just want to jump in that crate to China. It's your call. What is this place? <laughs> this, my dear, is your new base of operation. If you want. Okay, so what's the catch? <laughs> There's no catch. I like sharing the uh, bachelor pad with John, but there are times when a man needs a little more privacy. 
And so I picked this place up from my holding company. John knows nothing about it. He'll never be able to find you here. Johnny was helping me, and now I bailed on him, too. Well, it's not too late. I can take you back if that's really what you want. No. No, this is the only way that I'll be truly free and able to do what I need to do. And I'm not going to quit until everyone gets excited.